Like fashion itself, bridal trends are cyclical, either of the moment or moments away from being in style again. Overall, bridal, yes, evolves, but it always comes back. Melinda McCary is the owner of Your Dream Bridal in Sudbury. Sleeves are back, puffy sleeves are back, and our culture is influencing things. I think Bridgerton is definitely influencing much more of what we're seeing. McCary has always kept an eye on fashion, but started her career in corporate marketing until she left and opened her shop in 2015. I was that girl that always got asked to go shopping with the other girls to go to the filing's basement running on the brides. <sighs> Fenway remembers that. And I was always the girl that found the dress. Those hectic shopping sprees inspired her to create a more intimate experience for brides. Let's build a beautiful dressing room, big open space, make sure the experience is great, and then layer in the pretty dresses. In addition to acquiring gorgeous gowns, Makari also looks for sustainable designers. Where they're located is actually where the dresses are actually made. A benefit both to the environment and the bride. Typically with more mainstream designers, you might be able to tweak a color, maybe shorten a hem. But if you have a bride who's petite, large bust, short waist, any of those pieces, you're really stuck. You have to order the dress to the largest size. You can't make it to them. And that's really hard because you're spending all this money and not able to really get it how it should fit you, whether you're petite or plus size. Makari was able to customize Molly Bell's gown to fit her perfectly for her October 2021 wedding in Vermont. It's your original dress that we had tried on you when you came shopping. She actually put me in a dress that I didn't even think I was going to like and then I absolutely fell in love with it and <laughs> what was great too is I was able to actually add sleeves to it. So you started a trend <laughs> because there are, there's a lot more sleeves. Sleeves are gracing more gowns now as some brides gravitate toward a more modest look. I was really, really wanted sleeves. I just thought that's such an elegant look. Her husband loved her look as well. He just kept telling me how beautiful I was. He did get a little teary eyed, but at one point I was like, shh, we're, we're up here. <laughs> I get it, thank you. I'm very small and people are always like, oh, you look so cute, but I really wanted a dress that made me look gorgeous and felt like, you know, the beautiful bride on my wedding day. For some brides, that vision can't be narrowed down to just one look. And then the jacket actually is removable. So you have two looks in one day. This lace jacket comes off to reveal another current trend, an architectural neckline. Strapless doesn't have to be a subtle sweetheart anymore or even a true sweetheart anymore. You can have these beautiful points. It just gives a more modern twist to something that's really, really classic. A two-piece dress gives the option of changing a look without having to change dresses. Another option that offers a more dramatic transformation, a cape. She can remove it and then have a lot of fun the rest of the evening. Skirts with a subtle slit are also making their way down the aisle. Then a fun little surprise of a slit in the dress. And it's super soft and super flowy and perfect for any summer wedding. No matter what style suits you, Makari says to start shopping early. Some dress deliveries are taking up to a year and a half. Lots of fabric delays, shipping delays, all these things built up. Makari also says now more than ever, brides are taking into account what's really important to them on their wedding day. They do believe in making sure that whatever they do do remains really true to themselves and to their partner and to make sure that everybody has a good time. It's all just so pretty. And according to the wedding website, The Knot, the cost of a wedding is inching back to pre-pandemic averages. That's largely because guest lists are gradually returning to normal numbers. In 2021, couples spent an average of $34,000 on their weddings, which is back in line with 2019 spending.